Hello, welcome back to my next video on Vedic Astrology. In this video, I am going to talk to you about the various cycles that are involved in human life and these cycles are related to Vedic Astrology in some form or the other. We will be trying to relate these two cycles. The first most important cycle that we know of is the cycle of the moon. It is very evident uh, as the moon is quite a large object in the night sky and every day we see the uh, changing phases of the moon from the new moon to the full moon and then again back from the full moon to the new moon. And from one new moon to the next new moon, it is 28 day cycle. And this 28 day cycle, which belongs to the moon, also belongs to the women in the world. The moon in astrology is the mother. And the menstrual cycle of the women coincides with the 28 day cycle. In Brihad Jataka, there are very specific rules on how this cycle is so very well connected to the moon cycle and not only that, the conception cycle, like when does the actual conception take place, how does it take place, everything has been written. And ten times this moon cycle is the time that the human being spends in the womb of a mother. In the Bhagavad Gita, it is said that we are born or reborn because of the moon and we attain moksha because of the sun. So those who follow the moon will be reborn and those who follow the sun will not be reborn. So it is evident that as the moon goes up and down, the moods of the human beings also goes up and down. And uh, this is a 28 day cycle, half of it is 14 days, which is a fortnight, and half of that is 7 days, which are uh, the 7 week days. There is yet another cycle which forms the year, that is formed because the sun moves from one point of the zodiac, goes round and to come back to the same point it takes 365.25 days and this is uh, the year cycle. As the sun goes through the same signs, the same thing repeats. For example, if the sun is in Aries, which is its exaltation sign, we have the spring and then when the sun gets into debilitation we have the fall and then opposite of these two signs we have the peak summer and the peak winter. So this is another cycle and uh, the next major cycle is that of Jupiter and Jupiter, Jupiter cycle is 12 years so every 12 years there will be a remarkable change in a person's life. This is a very sensitive time. 12, 24, 36, 48, 60 and so on. The other major cycle belongs to Saturn and that is a 30 year cycle because Saturn's journey through all the 12 signs take about 30 years. So we have this 30, then 60, then 90 and then 120. And 120 is the maximum lifespan of a human being in Kali Yuga. It is also stated in Bible in the Genesis chapter that the spirit of man shall not dwell forever for it is numbered and the maximum it can be here is 120 years. 
So this 120 years seems to be a, a major point in the life of a human being. No one has ever crossed it. And the next uh, cycle is that of the Dasha cycle. So we have the sun which rules a person for 6 years, then the moon for 10 years and Mars for 7 years, then Rahu for 18 years, then uh, Jupiter for 16 years, so on and so forth until Venus which is 20 years. And if you add up the whole thing it comes to 120 years. So the 120 years of the Dasha and Bhukti or the planetary periods coincide with uh, four Saturn cycles. Half of it, half of this is one, 60 years and 60 years you find that the Jupiter cycle and the Saturn cycle meet which means when you are 60 years old Jupiter will be back in the same place where it was when you were born and Saturn also will be back in the same place where it was when you were born. So 60 years seems to be a very sensitive time and 60 years is the retirement age across the world or there will be a major lifestyle change at the time when a person reaches the 60th birthday. In India there are special functions conducted for all those who have reached the age of 60. It is a reminder that the worldly life is enough till 60 and then after 60 one has to turn towards spiritual progress that would ensure that the next birth there will be a lot of good things that happen to the soul. So in this way we have correlated the various cycles of human life and this should be considered whenever a person's horoscope is being studied. So when you are going into the dashas and bhuktis, it is very important that we keep an eye on all these cycles too and match it up wherever possible. So we have come to the end of this video session. I hope to meet you in my next video. Thank you.